you know, we have another passage that um, we have a lot of people that's running to to justify their continual walk in sin. So if we can turn to Philippians chapter 3, let's examine closely what the scripture is saying and see what the word of God is actually telling us. If you look at verse number 10, it says, That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. And if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, not as though I've already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Now, this here perfection that he was speaking about in verse 12 is clearly speaking of the perfection of verse number 11, that resurrection of the dead. That is what he's talking about. For all of us are pressing forward to that resurrection of the dead when we, will, when we will receive that glorious body from heaven. That is the perfection that Paul was speaking about. When we receive that glorious body, we will no longer feel pain like we do here in our earthly body. We will no longer shed tears like we do here in our earthly bodies. For this is the perfection that Paul was talking about that he have not yet attained. For anybody living has not yet attained that glorious perfection that he was referring to. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 1 it says, For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building and house not made with hands. It says, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. This is what we are pressing forward, that glorious, glorious body to receive from God. That is the perfection that Paul was referring to. But we must keep reading so that we can understand and discern the perfection that he was speaking about because we are commanded to be perfect and live holy and without sin so let's continue reading as paul reveals that also to us in verse 13 it says brethren i count not myself to have apprehended but this one thing i do forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto the things which are before when you die when you die, that old man has been crucified, all of its affections and lust, and then you are rose up into a new creature. You are risen into a new creature now in Christ, no longer partaking in those things of your past. Those things are no longer a part of your life. You are now moving forward, no longer looking back. So I pray that you understand what Paul is saying. And in verse 14, he says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. He continues to press forward. And then in verse 15 it says, Let us therefore as many as be perfect. Once again, there are the words again. Be perfect. The scripture does not contradict itself, my brothers. It is two different perfections he's talking about here. In verse 12, he is speaking of that resurrection of the dead when we, when we will receive our glorious bodies. But as far as being here on earth in our earthly bodies, we are commanded to be perfect. And that is to live holy and walk exactly the way Jesus Christ walked. Nobody can see God coming just short of perfection. You are commanded to be perfect in the knowledge that God has given you thus far. I pray that you receive this word, get on your knees and ask God for the Holy Spirit so that you can live it, believe it, have faith in that power of the Holy Spirit which God can give to you. But he says, let us therefore as many be perfect, be thus minded, and if anything ye be otherwise minded, if you're short of perfection, it says, God shall reveal even this unto you. So my brothers and sisters, if you know that you keep running to this passage to justify your occasional walk in sin, I pray that you can receive this message. Thank God that he's revealed this to you, that you are commanded to be perfect 
and let go of those things that you know that is contrary to God's will. I pray that you receive this word. I pray that you can see how people are running here and twisting the scripture around, taking it out of its context. Clearly, nobody has reached that perfection that Paul was referring to because we're all still alive. That does not happen until the resurrection of the dead when we will receive our glorious body. So I pray that you understand the perfection. Apply it to your life. Ask God for his will and it shall be done. Thank you and God bless you.